We're coming in the springtime and have you thought about selling your house and getting the most money possible? Stay tuned and I'll go over the three must do's when selling your house this year. It's your favorite Las Vegas real estate agent, Eric Hudson. And if you find this content useful, please hit the subscribe button. And if you need a no hassle evaluation of your home, just give me a call or text. It's exciting to put your house on the market and to think about making new memories in a new space. However, despite the anticipation of what's to come, you still have a deep sentimental attachment to your home that you're leaving behind. Growing emotions can help or hinder the sale of a house depending on how you manage them. When it comes to the bottom line, homeowners need to know what it takes to avoid costly mistakes when it's time to move. Being mindful and prepared for the process can help you stay on the right track when you're selling your house this year. Number one, you must price your home correctly. When inventory is low like it is in the current Las Vegas market, it's common to think that buyers will pay whatever we ask when setting a listing price. Believe it or not, that's not always true. Don't forget that the buyer's bank will send an appraiser to determine the fair value of your house. The bank will not lend more than what the house is worth. So be aware, you may need to negotiate the price after the appraisal. A real estate professional like myself can help you set the true value of your home. Number two, keep your emotions in check. Today, homeowners are living in their houses for the longest period of time that we've seen in a very long time. Since 1995, the average tenure or the time that a homeowner has stayed in their home has increased from five to 10 years. If you look at the graph that's coming up, you'll see the difference in the amount of time people have been staying in their homes. This is several years longer than when it used to be by historical norms. The side effect, however, is when you stay in one place for so long, you may get even more emotionally attached to your space. If it's the first home that you bought or the house where your children grew up, it's very likely means something very special to you. Every room has memories and it's hard to detach from the sentimental value. For some homeowners, that makes it even harder to negotiate and separate the emotional value of the house from the fair market price. That's why you need a real estate professional to help you with the negotiations along the way. Remember the buyer wants to have their memories in the house. So for now, they're paying for the house to make their home. Number three, stage your home properly. We're generally quite proud of our decor and how we customize our houses to make them our own unique homes. But not all buyers will feel the same way about your design. That's why it's important to make sure you stage your house with the buyer in mind. Buyers want to envision themselves in the space so they can feel like it could be their own. They need to see themselves inside with their furniture and their keepsakes, not your pictures or decorations. Stage and declutter so they can visualize their own dreams as they walk down the halls. A real estate professional can help you with tips and to get your home ready to stage. If you like some free staging tips, just text me or give me a call. I have had some staging training to help you in staging your house to sell. The bottom line is that today's seller's market might be your best chance to make a move. If you're considering selling your house, let's connect so you can have some help to navigate through the process while prioritizing these must do's. And again, to help me out, I want to earn your subscription. Please click that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up.